Hey everybody, this is Robert from Kapoing and I'm coming to you from inside of a Zoom call today. And that's because I'm sitting here waiting for an important business call to start. But something's not right. This home office environment just isn't quite doing it. I need something that looks a little more professional, a little more legitimate. So let's go into our virtual backgrounds here. And there we go. I now have a branded virtual background that says a little bit more about who I work for and what we do that is gonna look great for this call I'm about to hop on. So how can you get a custom branded virtual background just like this? Well, that's what today's tutorial is all about. I'm gonna show you in just a few steps how you can put together your own background using your own logo and branding that will work on all of the Zoom calls that you're gonna be sitting on over the next days and weeks. So let's hop right into the tutorial and see how it's done. Okay, so we're here in our home base in the Kapoing studio, and I'm just gonna start with a blank canvas to get my branded background going here. So if you've seen our other video on, brand, on Zoom backgrounds, which I'll link to at the end of this video if you haven't, um, these backgrounds generally need to be 16 by nine. That's the correct size. So I'm gonna go all out on the branding for this thing. Now I've got my Kapoing brand colors right here. And I'm gonna start by using our light purple for the base of my canvas. So I can go into the color picker here and it can take any hex code. So I'll just drop that in. And I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's a very light purple. Now, I know that on Zoom generally, um, I sit towards the middle of the screen, but for calls where I'm using this background, I'm going to sit more to the side so that I can show off my branding a little better. So I'm going to drop our company logo in right now. And then I can kind of move that over here. And then I'll be able to put my head into this part of the frame so that the person on the other end of the call will be able to see all of my branding. So I'll take this logo and I'll bring it down in size a bit. I think that looks pretty good, like right there. Now let's add some text to kind of crispen this thing up a bit. So first, I'll just start with a basic saying Kapwing, the name of our company. It'll be important for people to see that, especially if they've never heard of us before. And then again, I'm gonna change the color of that text to our Kapwing bright purple. And it's starting to look like something that our company would officially put out there. So I'll put this up above my logo here and then I've got our company name, I've got our logo in there. Like what else could I use to make this a little bit, um, you know, more legitimate and more branded? So why don't we try putting our slogan in there, which is content creation made easy. And I will make this a little smaller. It doesn't need to be the big bold color. I'll change it back to black and take the bold off of it. Maybe I'll do this on two lines. Content creation made easy. So I'll put that right over there, centered over the cat's head. And I will bring my Kapoing text and change the size, but I want that to be really big and readable. So maybe not perfectly aligned, but I think it looks pretty good. So I know my head is gonna go on this left side of the screen here, and then I've got all of my branding here. And we'll actually do a couple of these backgrounds to show you some different sort of options you can do in terms of branding. So I'll go ahead and publish this one. And I think that looks pretty nice. I think that's gonna make it clear to the person I'm talking to who I work for and what we do. So I'll just click download here when I'm done, and I'll see it downloads right there in the Chrome uh, window. So I'll open up Zoom and I'll start a new meeting here. This is just me now. And I'll go ahead and go to my virtual backgrounds and I'll click this plus, add image. Now I go into my downloads and I scroll down. You might be able to see I've made a few other branded backgrounds here. Um, where's this new one? It looks like it's right here. And there it is. So if I'm just sitting in the center of my screen, um, you know, it still works. You, you might wanna make the canvas a little bigger here or the zoom window rather, so you can see the full uh, background you've made. But yeah, for a call like this, I may choose to kind of scoot over here just a bit so that, you know, it's big and clear and obvious right over there what it says. 
Um, but you know, this is just one type of branded background. This just kind of puts us on a plain, simple, light purple, white background with our logo on it. But what if we wanna make a background that has a little more intent than this? Maybe a background that's targeted at the person we're talking to specifically. So let's look at some other options here. So I'm gonna make this Kapwing text a little smaller because I wanna put some other text in here that's gonna be important. So say I'm having a Zoom call with somebody and I'm just meeting them for the first time. Maybe it'd be good to put my name in there so that they know who they're talking to. And even better, maybe I can put my email address as well, robert at kapwing.com. So now they're gonna be able to see both who I am, who I work for, what my email address is. Another option here would maybe be to do something like content strategist. So they know that they're speaking to a content strategist from Kapwing. Um, now I could definitely see this being useful if uh, maybe you're in more of a sales role and you wanna put some information about who you are. You can even put your phone number on here. So the person you're talking to sort of has that contact information right at the top of mind. Anytime they look at the screen, it's gonna be right there. Um, now something I did recently on a call that I thought was pretty cool was um, I was actually doing a live demo for somebody. So I went ahead and I added text to my branded background that said demo for Sue. And then I was able to just kind of put that down there, make my Kapwing text big. And then that person was able to see that I had taken the time to make a custom virtual background just for the conversation we were having. And you know, she loved it. So there's all kinds of things you can do here. Um, my usual go-to is to kind of, you know, just put our company logo in, get all of our brand colors in place, click publish and throw it into Zoom. It's very simple, it's quick and it's easy, but you know, you can go as crazy with this as you want. You just uh, are following the usual conventions of making a virtual background for Zoom. So it's gonna be 16 by nine, and then you definitely wanna be uh, thinking about where your head is gonna be in the frame so that you're not covering up your branding. But these are really cool and they're a great way to kind of show off um, you know, who you work for, what you do, and to give the person you're speaking to a little more context as to who they're speaking with. I think they also do a good job of covering up the room behind you if you don't want somebody to see where you're sitting. So just a quick tutorial today on custom branded Zoom virtual backgrounds. And definitely check out the other video I made on how to make a Zoom background in the first place. It's a great starter video if you're new to these virtual backgrounds. My name's Robert. I'm making new tutorials like this for how to use Kapwing to do basic tasks all the time. If you found this helpful, please subscribe down below and be on the lookout. There's gonna be a lot more tutorials coming your way soon. Thank you so much for watching and have fun in those Zoom calls. Good luck to you. I'll see you next time.